Good Saturday morning, everyone. Life from the Bridge 2025. You guessed it. Headed down to the boat, thinking that we had done all we needed to do as far as carrying stuff. And look at there, carload again. So we are in the process of getting down there. And uh, wife's got the dog out for our last potty break before we go. So we're going to have a good Saturday. Head back Sunday, do our wings, and uh, just enjoy life. Life's too short. Things can happen in a minute. You got to take time and uh, and enjoy it. So, y'all have a great Saturday. We'll get back with you in a little bit. All right, everybody. Made it down to the boat. There's my Captain Dana down there with Nibbles. Um, so, a few minor things we're going to do today is, first off, the water situation. It's better, considering the storms we've had, a lot better, but not corrected. So I'm going to do a little more brainstorming, do a little more figuring on that and see if I can come up with something that's going to knock it out completely. But like I say, it's definitely better. Before I was having to wring out the towel into a bucket, I'd fill a half a, half a bucket. And if you want to know what the bucket looked like, uh, let me see if I can get it. There's the bucket right there. So think about that for a minute. Half that bucket full and still having to wring out towel. So there was a lot of water getting in. This time, one towel, I did not have to wring it out and it took care of it. So we're definitely better than we were. We're just not where I want to be. So we'll think about that one for a little while. In the meantime, a little project that we're doing today is this door lock. So uh, we're gonna we got a new one thanks to a uh, person of a uh, friend of ours, person of ours, what have you, on the Facebook 390 C Ray Club. Um, he told me exactly where to find it, exactly what I needed, uh, and he nailed it. I mean, it's the exact parts. So we're gonna change that out today. We'll actually be able to lock things now. So we're gonna do that. Uh, we got our chairs. We got our Wheezy Pet. So we're gonna try our Wheezy Pet. Put it together. See if we can get the dog to start working with that. Just overall going to be a fairly relaxing day. Found out we had another dock break free upriver. He came down and landed underneath a nice catamaran right there. I don't think they have any damage, but I've already met the guy and he says he's filing a police report and he's being a little snarky about it, I think. But, you know, I mean, I get that things happen. I don't know that it's their fault, but... You know, call the insurance. That's why we got it. So anyway, beautiful Saturday. Great to be down at the boat. As usual, we love being at the boat anytime we can get here. Uh, Tim and Nick are down. We'll see if we get to see them much or not. But anyway, um, we're here. We're going to spend the night and we're going to have a great day. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you soon. All right, quick update. Got the lock in. Uh, it works well except for the fact that the striker plate that little thing right there is a little bit too deep and causes the door to have to be slammed so I'm gonna have to grind that down a little bit modify that a little bit next thing we're gonna do a little added security just because hadn't had any issues don't expect any but it can't hurt so adding in our extra ring doorbell and we're gonna put it on the same door that I just put the lock on, right there, uh, and get that done, and we'll go from there. So, see you in a while. All right, so making it our own slowly but surely. There we go. Little extra security installed now, ready to roll. And so, while I'm doing that, somebody's down in the galley, galley down. Hello. Making us a little lunch because we're hungry. This one's just hanging out doing her thing. A uh, little bit of artwork that picked up along the way. So got that mounted. Let y'all see that. Y'all can take a read on that. And then headed down into the stateroom. We had that on our door back at. Uh, what you call it? Oh, God. And 
brought it down here. I thought it was very fitting. I know that might be backwards, but y'all figure it out. So anyway, it's a little busy, but not too bad. And I think that's most what I'm going to do today. Bilges are dry. Everything's checked out. So we're going to have a little lunch, hang out a little while and enjoy life. Y'all have a great Saturday. We'll see you soon. Hey everybody. Live from the bridge 2025. Happy Saturday evening. Yay. We are on the bow of our boat with our, with our little puppy and our new chairs. Not much of a sunset tonight. A little, little overcast, but still a beautiful, beautiful scenery. So we are very happy with what we have. Um, it's been a good day. We've had a very relaxing, productive. Uh, productive but not overly worked day yes i agree uh got to hang out with the boat neighbors for a little bit at the bar um bugs are out tonight crab pots in the water hello and um we're chilling there's our best buddy right there in the middle yep, there she is Aww. our best buddy so we're just hanging out making a happy saturday we hope everybody else is having a great saturday evening and uh tomorrow will be the usual we'll get up we'll pack up head back to the house drop off the pet go over to the b-dubs and have us some wings uh we're gonna have some company tomorrow for wings uh greg will be joining us so that'll be a good thing but yeah just having having a great time and trying to live a best life and i hope you do too y'all have a great life have a great night have a great weekend and like subscribe share Hit the bell for notifications. Leave a comment down below. We love you. Y'all take care. You too. Hey, everybody. Live from the bridge 2025, and happy Sunday. Hey. Captain Dana, first mate Mark, first mate Nibbles, and I believe that cat's going outside to enjoy the heat. Um, short video. Uh, you'll see some clips we shot yesterday while we were down at the boat. Uh, I've done a couple of reels. We'll probably throw them in. Oh, hello. We'll probably throw those in just as fillers. This is really just to give you a quick update as to what's going on. Um, Canvas is scheduled for mid late August. The whole back of the cockpit's going to get redone. Um, so we'll show you that. Uh, I've talked with the boat yard, finally got in touch with them, and we're probably going to go in early to mid-September and get some things done while we're there. Um, got some small projects, done items done while we were down this weekend, but basically this weekend was just a, let's just go down and relax. Chill. Uh, it's been a lot going on, and... You know, don't want to have too much all the time. I want to, you know, this this doesn't need to be a job. It needs to be some enjoyment on top of that. Uh, but unfortunately, I did find out that my depth finder isn't working, and so I may attribute that to that nice piece of dock that was under the boat. Um, didn't dawn on me to fire up the depth finder and see if it was working. So I'm in the process now of finding a transducer, and no luck. so far I haven't had any luck. I posted it on my Sea Ray group on Facebook. So far, I haven't had any luck. So I'm going to talk to a couple of people, some electronics guys that I've made contacts with, and if I can't find, I can find the head unit. I can't find the transducer. So if I can't find the transducer, the head unit does me no good. And so that may mean during the haul out, we replace that whole system. Yay. Yay! Another thousand dollars. Easy. <laughs> um, but it is what it is. It's part of the life. And if it was enough for me to file it, I would. But it's not enough to file it and cause a problem with the insurance and claim and whatever it is. It could have happened if I had run the boat aground. I could have tore it up. You know, you just never know. I mean, stuff happens. I don't know if the boat damaged it. I'm going to have a diver look at it before I make any final decisions. I think I can pull the transducer while the boat's in the water. I believe what I have right now is a 
plug that's identical to the transducer that will just go back down and yeah. I'll get some water in, but there's supposedly there's a flap if that flap's intact that when I pull it, the flap closes to help reduce the amount of water coming in. Now, even if there's no flap, if I have the plug in hand and I pull the transducer out and swap, it's, we're gonna get some water, but it's not gonna be massive. Yeah. I'm not gonna sink the boat. So, um, got I, got, I got something coming up that that I want to figure out because I really don't want to take it down to the boat yard without the depth a depth finder because we're going to run the intercoastal and it can get shallow in spots but and it's going to take us like six hours it is what it is if I have to go I'll try and go high tide as much as possible um, I'll go on an incoming and hopefully I'll make it by the time that it starts to fall so that I'm in the deepest water because the charts show you the shallowest and just we'll, we'll do what we have to do. Yeah, figure we'll it out. We'll figure it out. I mean, that's part of boat life. You're going to figure out. Again, electronics are going to fail. Whether they get hit by something, I mean, like the power could get swapped or, yeah, you'd never know. You can't always rely on electronics. You're going to have to go by charts and talk to the people that we've got waterway guide we've got people that are doing the loop that have come up through there there's a ton of resources out there yeah, for you definitely. um so that being said we will as always do what we have to do kind of looking forward to the haul out uh haven't done one so that'll be interesting we definitely do that um, getting the bottom job there'll be two coats of paint I'm going to pull the props and have them tuned. I'm going to pull the shafts and add new dripless seals. Replace the cutlass bearings, which are what, when the shafts come out of the hull of the boat and they come back to the back of the boat, they have a strut that holds them in place and inside that is a bearing. We're going to have those replaced. Um, and then the prop blade for the bow thruster in the front has a crack in the where it mounts and we're going to get that replaced and then of course we'll figure out the whole depth finder depth finder situation so anyway short video this week not a lot going on yeah. but wanted to give y'all something uh as promised we'll try and release one one a week uh it's been a lot going on we had some other uh issues happening in the week and so you know we tried to make this one just a kind of a relax Let's just get away and do us and, and be comfortable and, and get ready for the, what's coming up. So, uh, other than that, that's it. Shout out to Tim and Nick. Thank you for the drinks and uh, good company last night. Um, Definitely. They have. Uh, will you show me? So, if you want to follow them on Instagram. Um, this is them, Moon River. They are a trawler. They're part of the MTOA, which is the Trawlers Association of America. Um, but that's them. And they're good people, boat people. Yeah. And, you know, we call them friends. So uh, if you want to follow them, they're on Instagram. You can check them out there. Other than that, have a great Sunday. Remember to like, subscribe, share, and ring the bell. And, and thank you. Oh, um, comment, comment down below. Yes, comment. Please, yes. comments. Please, people. And thank you for all our viewers. We have 122 right now. So thank you. 122. We're getting there. Um, appreciate you. Yeah, definitely. Couldn't do it without your support. We do have our logo. We are now searching for a company to print the logo for the boat. Yeah. And then we're getting ready to set up business cards and do something like they have with the uh, sticker. Um, also, we'll be doing merch. Mugs, maybe wine mugs. Um, shirts. Shirts, hats. Um, Just odds and ends. Stuff like that. 
comment below and tell us what you'd be interested in seeing with our logo on it. Yeah, definitely. And that way we can add that in the mix. So give us a shout. Give us your ideas. Tell us what you'd like to see in merchandise that you would actually purchase or give as a gift or, or you know, what have you. So, or what you would like to see in a video. That too. Give us what you'd like to see in a video. Other than that, um, happy Sunday. Have a great week. We'll see you next week. Take care. Stay tuned.